Hello guys, uh, welcome to the new episode of Building Tabs Manager Online. So in the last episode, we've done the parsing of URLs and uh, you can see we got some data from such URLs, but also we messed up the UI completely. So I think it's time we improve the UI a little bit step by step. Also, I plan to do a little bit shorter sessions uh, this time. I try to go to something like 10 to 20 minutes, but I fail every time and it's like bulky 30 minutes video. So let's try to be short this time. Uh, to do so, so we need to focus what we are going to, to work on. So on the left, I have this links list component. And uh, this is the one that you see is very wide. Uh, let's make it a little bit shorter and uh, nicer in this session. So here I can see we use table and uh, we have for each here, for each row, which works fine, but not in our case. Uh, I plan to do it closer to what it was uh, in to read today. And this was list like this with title be visible if uh, URL has title, if it was successfully parsed. If it was not parsed, then we just display URL. Then next is priority as a flag icon here and you can switch it like this. Yeah, the, the link automatically go down because priority was lowered. Uh, tags here and other elements here. So we'll add elements one by one. But right now what I want to do is to display it as this vertical column, not as a table. So let's start with that. Also, uh, at the same time, I will learn Daisy UI. Uh, just to keep you updated, I use it a little bit, but I'm not like expert at it in any case. So uh, my bit will be similar to your knowledge. If you don't know it, then uh, well, we'll learn it together. If you know it, leave comments below. If you know how to do things better, like some of your recommendations to share, that would be very helpful. Okay, so uh, what component can we take, if any, that can help us to build such a list? So I'll scroll through that thing, scroll, scroll, scroll. So there is a menu, let's open it. Uh, what else can be here? Generation progress, no. Stack, I don't think so, but let's open it. Just curious what it is. Table, we tried to use table, but it's a legit table. Behaves as a table um, and that won't work for us. But here they have it very nicely, like one column here contains image and some title and some subtitle, which is great. We can do something like that. Uh, okay, what is stack? So, well, yeah, it's for stacked images or something like for cards, notifications. Very nice. We might uh, use it for some toast but notifications later. Okay, what is menu? Yeah, menu looks like some drop down menu or well menu menu uh i don't think it will work fine for us let's see so it's just uh unordered list with list elements list items yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it can be horizontal only with icons nice i think we can use it for something like uh, header navigation here. Let me make this a little bit bigger, like this links, tags, etc. Uh, okay, so every time I look at some uh, prepared components from Daisy UI or from Bootstrap or Bulma or other UI libraries, I'm like, okay, like, can I use it uh, and uh, customize it, or will customization take? too much time and maybe it will be faster if I do it just myself from scratch. In this case, I feel like this menu is quite simple. Um, might be fine to customize it, but at the same time we'll have a lot of 
items in it and it shouldn't actually behave like menu like this uh, mouse over highlight effect we don't need that we'll probably use our own or something so let's just be inspired by something like that so they use ul li uh, which is fine and we can build our own stuff so let's get rid of the table first here and i guess and these things okay this is our elements and uh, let's try to use ul and here we'll use li li and we need a link to be clickable um, so it will be a link.url i'm using my headphones now so i hope you hear me more than my keyboard like it was before when i used just a laptop microphone but i ordered a proper microphone you know like like good youtubers do uh, and it should arrive in about a week or so i hope that will make my audio much better than it was before uh okay so and if there is a title we should display title otherwise we just display url as it was we need to be careful with urls because they can be quite long uh, and we need to move them to other line if possible so we'll get to that but so far so description is kind of additional information that you don't need all the time might be we'll add some you know expand icon later and display it but for now uh, let's just remove it from here okay so let's see how this list works with just title and url for now yep we got list it's clickable when i click on it we move to another page but it replaces current page which we don't want so small trick here is we can uh, use target attribute with value underscore blank blank please why autocomplete doesn't work blank okay oh and it suggests we also use real can we have autocomplete with github copilot please no refer is it enough okay uh let's see now we open link in utah nice okay uh but and links are in like in a column like we want it some links have just urls and the bottom link has a title as well okay cool 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 we need to make some gaps between elements so let's use flex i love flex box and also flex call to make it as a column so now we save nothing will change but then we uh, will add some gap let's say gap free okay looks good so how gap works let's, let's see in a moment uh if we mouse over here on the flex element you can see oh, that elements have gaps between them and it's very nice to use gap comparing to you know margin bottom or margin top first of all uh, you don't need to care about first element or last element to have some extra margin bottom here for example or extra margin top here gap just works magically as you expect that's why i love it okay uh next we need to display uh priority as an icon ideally i don't think we used icons before in this uh, project let's see if daisy ui has any there are a lot of library libraries with icons i used uh, font awesome feather icons and other stuff all of them are very great 
very great. Um, but let's see if Daisy UI has any. I don't think so. Well, they should be able to integrate with any, uh, but I don't see that they have anything themselves. Okay, let's look at the button. Usually, uh, when you have a button, you want it to have some some kind of icon, and there they should say like, okay, you can use uh, like SVG or we recommend you to use some kind of button uh, icon. Okay, yeah, I don't see. Let me make this screen bigger. Maybe they have search. They had search, I think. In past icon, no. Okay, um, I remember feather, feather icons were really easy to use. You can just download SVG of the icon you like. Um, so since we are not using a lot of them yet, it's, I think, pretty fine to copy SVG. So, flag. Let's go inside. Okay, just once I clicked on it, it started to download it. Uh, let's go to where it was. Tabs Manager. Static. Image. Okay, here in the image, I want to create icons folder. Flag SVG. Okay, nice. Uh, let's now try to use it. I guess it might be. Hmm. So, depending on priority, we need to color the SVG with the proper color. Like high priority might be red. Uh, you know, medium might be orange or yellow or something. Uh, but if we import SVG as an image, we cannot customize it. Yeah, that sucks, kind of. Uh, let's try to use it. I'll just show you that it's not possible. And then we'll switch to something else. Image icons uh, flag SVG. Okay. And we got it here. But we cannot add something like color uh, red. Um, but if we inline SVG, we can customize it as we want. So let's take it here for a second. Um, where was it? Static image icons flag. Okay, so if we would Take SVG, light please. Okay. And paste it here. We would get it. You see, it's not black anymore. It has the color of nearby text element. And we can actually um, customize its color. So let's say we can add class text red 500. And it all gone red. Um, but SVG, if we do it like this, uh, it will repeat again and again for each item. Later on, I'd love to optimize it, like maybe to move it to some component or use some component library. But for now, for simplicity, we just want to make this list nicer. And let's build a prototype of this list. So we'll just inline SVG like, like this. Okay, so we can customize it using class of a proper color. So let's uh, write a um, function that returns a uh, class depending on what is, uh, what is, what is, what is, what is the priority. So here we can define a function, get uh, CSS class color based on priority and we should remove string uh, return a string okay so what is priority let me just uh, recall it for a second I think it should be um, 
Oh, why can't it? I comment it. Uh, it should be, yeah, it should be enough link, link priority. Yeah, okay. Um, and his favorite. Yeah, I think I couldn't uncomment it because I had to select both lines. I still used to WebStorm. So priority is of style of type link uh, priority. And we import it as a type from Prisma client. I'm not sure it's a good practice to import Prisma client here. Maybe it is fine as a type. So Prisma content won't um, get into front end. Uh, we'll see uh, in a second. So let's use switch operator. Priority. Yeah, finally, Copilot is alive again. Nice. Okay. And we cannot use a num as, as type because it's a value. Low, medium, high. We probably need to somehow re-export this type of stuff. Maybe as uh, Zod types or something. Okay, so let's see how the function work. We put it here. We put link dot priority here. Okay, remove anything extra and let's try. Oh, nice. So green should be least priority. Red is top priority. Orange is medium. Okay, this is wonderful. Uh, and later on, we can customize these colors just here. For now, it will work fine. So, but actually, this this priority flag icon should be a drop down. Um, but we don't have instruments to edit links yet. So I think it will be part of another session since we are just making sessions shorter. Okay, we remove the image element from here, we remove priority from here, and we have one more, like is favorite. So let's look for a star icon. Mm -hmm. We save all of them for now. Um, later on, we can either get rid of them, either, uh, I don't know, import them some other way around. Uh, so far, let's just copy it. So let's say if it is already favorite icon, like marked as favorite from beginning, uh, we want the star to be fooled or filled with color. Uh, I, I guess it should be orange or yellow or something. If it is not yet favorite, then it should just have the border, but the inner part should be transparent. So let's let's try that. So we have SVG here. I think we need to uh, use region. I, I, I love to use regions to separate parts and make some pieces of code collapsible. So here we say priority icon and we need to close region let's see yep it is collapsible now cool so let's collapse it let's paste this should be star let's close this yeah we got a star nice now let's wrap it with region favorite icon yep from the start so and we'll need to use classes again uh, because switch case uh, is a little bit bulky piece of code, we move this code to a function. Let's see if if favorite is favorite or not favorite uh, is bulky or not. Okay, text, text, yeah, text yellow. Maybe even background. 
or BG. I think it's BG yellow 500. And if it is not, then just yellow. Oh, wait, we can even move it out of the thing. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see. So if it is favorite, the whole SVG has a background. Um, we need to use a fill actually. So link link is favorite. Current color is or none. Okay, and color current color we just leave text yellow here. Okay. Oh, now it's much better. So now it is filled with color. If it is not favorite, it is not filled with color. Okay, cool. Um, might be take a little bit of attention when it has this text yellow in all cases. Yeah, maybe let's leave it gray. Was it gray, I think? Like this? Yeah. It should not draw so much attention. Okay, cool. Uh, what else we have? I think right now that's all elements we have in our uh, link, or all the properties we have in our link schema. Uh, let's double check. URL title description. Priority is favorite. Yep. Okay. So this is fine. Elements are on the next lines after the URL. Let's move them on the same line. So to do that, we need to wrap them with some div and make this div oops, and make this div to have some class flex, for example. Yep. And also justify, uh, justify, hell, what, what, what justify option should we use? Let's double check. So tailwind, justify, items justify content. I think it should be justify content. Oh, items. I always confuse them. Uh, okay, stretch, no. Let's, let's check content. Justify content. Yeah, this is what we need. And we need space between. So just justify between. Between. Okay, now they take uh, opposite spaces or places. Okay, let's remove everything extra. Uh huh, okay, now it's better. Uh, but the links uh, list take a lot of uh, horizontal space. So these icons are on the right. I think I want to make it um, shorter, shorter, not that wide, <laughs> uh, like this maybe. So let's limit its maximum uh, width where it is. So let, let me inspect the, and find the right element. So this is first item. This is the whole list. Overflow X auto. I don't think we need that. Yeah, uh, let's start with this element. So let's check what width, width uh, we need to set. Oh, actually it should be max width. Max width, max width. Um, I think max WXS. So this size will work fine on mobiles and uh, on desktop as well. Like you can see here, it takes half of the space. And on the left and right, we can locate additional elements. 
So let's try to repeat that instead of make it uh, with a scroll, we'll limit its maximum width, and now it's smaller. Wonderful. So the only problem with the, with the visual part right now is that we don't have any other elements on the left and right, but we'll have them quite soon. So this is already better. I think maybe we need some additional spacing between them and also between the, the text of the URL and uh, uh, the icons maybe. Uh, let's see if we can quickly do that before we wrap the session. So maybe gap five. Yeah, this is better. And also um, some, some margin, margin bottom, maybe two after the link itself. Does it work? Margin bottom two. I don't see it was added. Yep. Okay, other way around, we can do margin top two for the line with all the icons. Okay, that worked fine. Nice, so we now have list of links with two icons and uh, also our URLs are not too long. If they are long enough, they drop to the next line which is nice. Uh, yep, I think this is much better than it was before. Light, please. So let's wrap this session, but more and more session and more frequently will be published for you to watch. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next one there.